Good morning, everyone. Cheryl from Tinker's Card Art here again today. I told you we were going to paint some hats today. So no, I'm not painting canvas. I'm going to paint this straw hat. I love to paint things that aren't canvas and you guys have seen me paint all sorts of glassware and shoes and tote bags and you name it, wood, rocks. So remember when you're out um, scouting around and you see something you could paint on, it doesn't always have to be a canvas. So this is, um, this is kind of a weird surface. It's a straw hat and I practiced a little bit on the inside to see how the paint would take and it does come through a little bit but we're going to paint on the front so it doesn't matter. We don't care if it goes through into the inside a little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ordinary acrylic paints, just the craft paints. You could use your heavy body acrylics in the tubes, whatever acrylic you want to use. Because of the surface and it's a little rough, I'm going to use my hog bristle brush at least to get that base coat down and, and into the fabric. And then I may go and use some of my synthetic brushes. And as you know, I have told you a bunch of times, I paint from dark to light. Use and I'm going to go from dark to light. So I'm going to paint sunflowers on this. This is going to be like my beach hat, or it could be, um, I'm actually going out to New Mexico on Monday uh, next to paint, plein air paint. So I'm going to need a wide brim hat out there. I'm going to start my sunflowers with an orangey color. So if you have an orange, um, a bitter, uh, burnt orange, whatever. I've got a couple of yellows out, a, a deep gold, a uh, cad yellow white, a couple of shades of green, a little bit of black and brown for the center of these sunflowers. And I'm going to start with this orangey color here. And I'm going to just paint in my sunflowers. And then I'm going to build them up lighter as that paint dries. And like I said, you're going to have to really get that paint into these nooks and crannies and grooves a little bit. Thus the uh, hog bristle brush. And I'm going to paint the flowers first. Sometimes I paint on the leaves and then like we did yesterday on the, on the magnets and then the flowers on top. But let's just hop in and get some base into them uh, for the sunflowers. It is a little awkward to work on and I'm going to try to hold it at a, at a good angle, but it's a little, um, a little awkward. I think I'll bring the camera up a little so you'll have a little bit more room. So let me, let me just do that. And that way you can see maybe um, I can, I have room to hold it up. I'm putting my petals in, but I know it's orange. They're going to be sunflowers. You could do this with other flowers. If you wanted to do a daisy, the way I'm doing this, you could just base coat it maybe with like a blue gray and then work up to the white. So can you see, I'm just getting a base coat of orange on there. I'm scrubbing in a little bit with my brush. I'm not worried if it doesn't go in every nook and cranny. It's in there enough to be a base and, it, and when we put our yellows on it's get a little brighter and then a bright yellow and uh, it's going to work its way up to be a nice sunflower i put one in the middle i'll put some more around it now sometimes you can put a whole sunflower again that's going to overlap this one sometimes you can put a few little petals just peeking out and i'll show you what i mean i do i'll do that too i'm going to just put and i know i'm putting them on as petals you can kind of see but if it looks like a big blob that's all right we're going to we're going to put uh, our individual petals on top and you will see them more then. If you want, I, I like to extend the design right around. So I'm going to put a few, these are going to be just little bits of a sunflower peeking out. Just a little bit. Now I'm going to paint the leaves next so that this has a little chance to dry. I do have my hair dryer handy in case we want to really zap it, but sometimes I hate, you know, to put that on and have that noise. I am going to do my leaves in, it's a very dark green. I know it looks black, They're very dark green and a lime green. I'm going to put them in. I, I didn't even wash my brush off. I just wiped it off. I'm going to a darker color. When I need to go into the yellows, of course, I'll wash my brush off, but I will try very carefully to get all the water and moisture out of that brush. It won't take long to do this, believe me. And I've bought, just to quick show you, I was at Hobby Lobby. This hat was like maybe $7.99. And then they had these cowboy hats, which are going to be great for painting on. So I'm going to tackle those one of these days too. So that might be fun. Since I'm going to New Mexico, I'll need a cowboy hat too. Okay, so we'll just base in the flowers, uh, excuse me, the leaves now. Just a rough leaves shape. Again, sometimes it could just be a little bit of a leaf peeking out from behind. Sometimes it could be a leaf all by itself. They could be some small leaves coming out. Can you see I'm just building up like a little bit of a bouquet sort of thing. And so I'm not worrying about copying exactly what I did on this side. I'm, I'm, I've got three leaves. I've got some little ones. I think I might want a few leaves peeking out here. How many of you like to paint on crazy things like I do? 
I'm actually getting ready to paint the sign here at my camp. It's the big wooden carved sign that needs scaffolding and everything. So I will, uh, I'll show you that when I'm working on it, maybe the end of this week. So if it's not standing still, I will paint on it. Check in to my videos and you'll see the ones where I painted the little canvas shoes. We paint um, ceramic pieces, glass pieces, all sorts of fun things. So there we are. Some base coating just for the sunflowers and some base coating for the leaves. I'm going to rinse my brush off now. And I know I paint fast. Lots of times I paint fast because I want to blend my colors while they're wet. So you can always watch and go back and stop and start the videos too. So now I'm going to my yellows, but I'm going to start with my golden yellow, the deeper yellow, because I said I was going to work from dark to light. And sunflowers, unlike the daisies, have a lot more petals and layered petals. So I'm going to make a lot more little petals on top here. I'm going to start with these guys on the side because they're behind. So I'm going to just start putting in some little petals. It's hard on this texture to get an actual petal shape. But once we, we get our color on there and get our centers, and you're going to know that they're sunflowers. For now, I'm putting the yellow on. It's rough. The texture is rough, but I like the way it's sort of gliding across the top and leaving some of that orange showing through. So now I'm going to get the shapes of my big sunflowers in the front. I'm really just patting this paint on there. It's really not in any shape of a petal at the moment. It's just getting some of that yellow. Looks like a big blob, but look, you can kind of see his flowers kind of coming through a little bit. Flowers going to come through. And when we do that light yellow, and then we do that light yellow with some white, I'll use my softer brush and try to really get a petal shape there. But if I just keep on going, because look at that's not, it, it's looking pretty good on the camera. That's the trick sometimes is. In person, it looks awful, and, and we all know all of our paintings, no matter what, go through the ugly duckling stage, and we don't like it, and it doesn't look like yours or mine or the other person's. Don't worry about that. Um, wait till the end. Give yourself some grace, and wait till the end, and you'll see how it turns out, and it's never going to look like mine because that's not what we want. We're not striving to get all the paint, all you to paint just like me. I show you how I do it. You do it your own way and you just go ahead and have fun with it. And that is great because if they all look the same, they might as well come out of a, um, you know, a machine could have made them. I'm going to uh, pop on some of that lighter yellow. Can you see it's now I can see three shades. I've got some orange. I've got some gold. Now I've got some bright yellow on top. And my last coat is going to be a brighter yellow, a lighter yellow. I'm going to mix some white with that yellow but for now i'm throwing it on there i am going in sort of the shape i would make a petal outside to the center in but it still is a little like i say it's a little blobby to me i'm looking so close but when i look at it on the camera or far away it looks more like a flower that's a tip too don't be looking at your paintings like this and saying oh my god i hate it it looks awful no one's going to see it from there and you can't even see it properly step away four feet and then you tell me that um, what it looks like and it'll cut it'll start coming around for you super fun it looks like a blob up close but am i going to worry and fuss about it no i'm going to just enjoy the process the process is the best part you guys if you sit down and you enjoy painting like any other hobby or pastime you know you're doing a puzzle and you're enjoying the time it doesn't matter really how it comes out it matters that you had a nice um afternoon of something that you enjoyed so Think of it a little bit as the process more than, oh, what's it going to look like when it's all done? So let's try to enjoy the time we have painting. All right, so let's let that dry a tiny bit. We're going to do our leaves. I might throw some little white flowers in here. We'll see. But I'm going to now, I'm going into a, a darker color. So I'm just wiping off the brush, and then I'll go right into my, it's kind of a lime green. And I do love, I use that lime green. It's like an apple green. I use it a lot. Not a color you can't, you can mix if you have your primaries in the membership and, and when I'm doing classes many times I really try to uh, stress that you really just need your primary colors and help you mix from there but I'm sure like me you love to go in and buy all the colors too because I just love all the colors I have them all sitting here too so now I've got my dark leaf I want to just brighten it up a little I'm just brushing over it a little bit with some of that lime green so it's my dark base getting a little lighter Still going to go lighter with a little bit of a white highlight with the green on that. But for now, I'm just painting a few little strokes of lime green on my dark leaves. Dark to light. I, I go most times dark to light, dark to light. 
which is a complete opposite of when we're watercolor painting because we have to leave our lights. I love with the acrylics that you could go back and just pop those lights on at the end and make everything pop. So let me give you a little close view. So all it was is sort of leaf shapes in a dark green. And um, then I just popped on some heavy, I'm using the paint heavy on this because of the fabric of the texture of the straw. I'm going on pretty heavy. Now I want a little highlight. You see, when I do my leaves like we did yesterday, even though they're little tiny ones, I've got the green leaf, but a dark on one side, kind of a light. I'm not gonna worry about dark on this one, but I do wanna get a little light on one side of my leaf. So what I'm doing, taking my brush into the green, but look, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of white on the corner. I always have trouble finding the camera. There you are. So as you can see, I've got both colors on my brush at once. And then I just pat it off a little bit. Might not even have to pat it off because of the texture of this. I really want to pat it on well. I'm just going to go on one side and give a little white highlight on my leaf. Now, because it's on the camera and I can really tell what's wrong and what's right, I, I see it's very bright. I'm just going to soften it a little. So if you ever have a problem when you're painting and something looks wrong or off, hold it up into a mirror or take a picture because when I'm looking at the video, I have a better idea of what's working and what isn't more so than when I'm just looking at it like this. So I'm taking my green each stroke and a little tiny bit of white and just on the, on the left side of those leaves, I keep it consistent because if it was sort of a light source, right? It's not really on a little, little bit of decorative painting like this, but I'm just gonna keep it on the, depending on what way you're looking at it, I've got it on the left side. But can you see now from a distance, you are looking at leaves that have a little shading. No, I, I find cool things when I'm shopping or yard sailing or flea marketing to paint on. So keep your eyes out for some fun things. And I'd love if you shared some of the things that you painted, please. I'd love to see your paintings. So I'm going to just continue on and get that lighter edge on my leaves. Maybe veins in them might not need it where this is such a... Um, textured surface. Those little cowboy hats I just showed you, those will be much a smoother surface. And you could certainly, if you say you don't have the hog bristle brushes, don't even worry. You could use your your um, synthetics. Use what you have. I'm a, I'm a proponent of using what you have until it won't work anymore. And if you need to find something, another tool, that's fine. But I uh, used what you have. I've got my leaves done. I want to get those nice bright petals on my sunflower. Michelle, I can wear this hat when I come down to Florida next time for the sun. So this time it's going to be very light. I got a little bit of my yellow. I'm going to go a lot of white. Mix that up a little bit. And let's see if we can this time get some petal shapes. Maybe I'll switch to my Filbert um, synthetic and see if that works. If not, I'll pop back with the hog bristle. Hi, Charlotte. Charlotte's one of my members and Zena too. And we have fun, right, ladies? We have fun in our group. We, we uh, paint all sorts of cool stuff. So I'm just going to go on and make these petal shapes now. And can you see now it's a little more petal like again, we're not going to get a perfect petal like we would on a smooth surface. So I'm going to just make all these petals. Let me see if I can do it so you can see. And we'll get our centers on and they're going to read as sunflowers, even though it looks a little abstract and blobby right now. I have not painted on straw before. I hop on with you guys without even practicing half the time and hoping that it comes out okay. And, and sometimes it probably doesn't, but it's all an experiment. I did do my tiny experiment of painting on the inside. I, I blob. That was my prep work for this. But just it looks like sunflowers right from your view, does it? Hi, Linda. Linda is one of my members too. She does amazing work. She's doing all kinds of cool stuff. You guys, if you, um, I don't know if you can put a picture in the comment. Maybe you can't, but I was going to say, show the, show the people your cool artwork. I'm so proud of my, my people. All right. So very abstract, but from a distance, it looks like sunflowers. You don't have to be right on top of it and see what it is. So blob some big circles. Those big middle of the sunflowers are those big happy faces. I'm using a little black in my brown only because I like a dark, dark brown for their centers. They're almost black. They're big circles. Happy little faces. Like I said yesterday, it'd be fun to paint a little face. I actually have a photo. I took my orange sunglasses once and put it on this big, huge sunflower, and it was a great photo. And I thought, I should paint that and paint the little sunglasses on, them, on my sunflowers. It turned into a blob with my sunflower in my little bit of peeking back here, but I can put a little center so it looks like it's peeking through, right? That's okay. Okay, so 
I'm going to try putting in a few uh, veins on my leaves just to see if it shows. I'll try white to see. As I do when I'm painting any sort of detail, and even on this hat, I'm not sure how it will work, but when I do detail work like veins and little tiny lines, I thin my paint down with a lot of water. I'm going to try it here and see what happens. I may have to do a dark, dark, dark vein, but I don't know. I think the white might work. So the little vein would just be a little line coming out of the middle of the leaf. Very vague. You might not need it. You might not need it, but I'm going to put them in. I wouldn't ordinarily maybe paint this bright and thick on a finer piece. I would try for a really thin line, but I want to see them on this heavy textured uh, straw. So I'm just going to paint those on. I'll show you in a minute, if you didn't see the little sunflowers we painted on the magnets yesterday, you'll see what they look like when, without being big and rough and abstract like this. So I just put in a little bit of veins. I do like to always add another flower, and I did it yesterday with little white, uh, like little white daisies peeking through. I'm going to try that here too. They're not going to really look like much, but I just think there's a lot of yellow, a lot of uh, a lot of leaves. But I need a little something else, so I'm just going to pop in little petals, little petals here and there just breaks it up a little bit. I'm not really worrying about where they are. They could overlap a flower. They are mostly just little three petals peeking out. You could also put whole little white flowers, but I'm just putting little petals peeking out. Just adds a little something, something. Again, you could put them so, because this would be like a bouquet, say. So you would have some peeking out in the middle or on top here and there. They could be any color. I'm going to uh, pop little yellow centers in them. If there's a place and you have like a space, you could just put a whole little white flower. Again, it's very rough, but it will read from a distance as a flower. And then some little uh, yellow centers. So I'm just gonna pop a little yellow in there. It's a bit of a design more sometimes than actual, what would a group of sunflowers look like? So the design part of my brain wants these little white accents in there. Carries through a yellow from the sunflower into the center, so it carries that color throughout. And doesn't it just add something to it, right? You don't have to go as big and bold. You could just do a little tiny uh, rim of sunflowers. I kind of went a little bit big. I don't know. What do you think? Hey, Kit, good morning. Now, centers. Not much we need to do with them here. But I do like to make them look like those big sunflower centers have a little dip in the middle. Lots of times I will even highlight them with purple. I just love yellow and purple. You know, take your opposites of the color wheel and you have a nice pop to your painting. So I think I'm going to take a little purple and maybe just on one side do a little C stroke. It's hard to see. Uh, um, it's hard to see because it's dark and dark. I will just put that on and I'm going to mix the purple with a little white. I wouldn't maybe always do that, but I want you to be able to see where I'm putting it. So let's just try making it a little lighter and you can kind of see that I'm just going on the side. It's just a little C stroke on the left side of the sunflower center. And then I'm going to make take that light light with a little purple and almost make a little circle. They have that little dip in the middle that's going to be like a little, it's going to look like a little dip in the middle of that sunflower. And again, it's the design part of me. It's more like I don't want a big dark hole in the middle of my flowers. Wouldn't matter what color you did this. You just want a little deco decoration on there. And the and the end, how I end them up is I make all those little pollen dots, which are cool. Okay, you can make little dots. I like the little pollen dots. And again, you do see them on flowers, but it's also a good design and element. You could do them with your detail brush. Lots of times I'll do the dots with the back of my brush. I happen to have my little metal dotty tool thing here. So I'm going to use that. Any color you have out, I just take and I dot these little dots all around the center. I'm calling them pollen dots. They don't have to be perfect little soldiers marching around the center. I'm just randomly putting them on. Sometimes it hits the center. Sometimes it hits the petal. And can you see them kind of there now? And I do it in any color. Go into any color you have out on your palette and just put some of those little dots here and there. You can see them closer on our little sunflower we did yesterday. Into the camera. There we are. 
just little dots of different colors. And that's all you really need. See how quick and easy some of these things are? Sometimes it's less is more and you don't want to stress and get all caught up and take hours. Paint it a little quick sometimes. Throw the paint on there. Have fun with it and see what happens. This is this is acrylic, so not the end of the world. We can usually paint over it or, or fix it somehow. I want to put some of that orange in there too. Maybe some purple. Whatever color little you have on your palette, just throw some little dots on there. Try to hold it up so you can see a little better. This is a weird uh, thing to paint on camera. I forgot about my little guy on the side there. Get some white dots on him. Purple, maybe. The purple shows up nice on the yellow, even though it's a little dot, because it's the opposite of the, co on the color wheel. Again, use your opposites for some effects. It's kind of cool. All right, this is all we need to do. I don't think we need much more. What do you guys think? Thanks, Linda. <laughs> I, I'm always thinking. I wish my brain would shut off sometimes. But this was will be a fun little beach hat. I showed you these were actually at Hobby Lobby for $4.99. I know they're probably made of just something like almost pressed papery. But I thought with roses maybe on the white one and I don't know, maybe daisies on the black one since I've done sunflowers already. They might be kind of fun to paint. Um, don't wear this right away because the paint will come through a little bit on the inside. 